How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be fixing my massive rust hole in the frame of my uh, bimmer. It's back by the rear uh, spring perch. Also going to be uh, messing around a little bit with the supercharger plates that are going to be uh, used for the inlet tube. As well as I'm trying to get ready to sell my Buick. I might throw that into this episode or do another one, but stay tuned for Buick stuff too, but stay tuned for the dank vid. I'm driving up to the uh, old shop Rooney. Alright, so what I'm going to do first is uh, chalk up the front wheels with some wood and then jack up the rear end on the diff so we can get a look at this rust hole. Let's take a look. All right, so what we're looking at here is a very dirty driver's side wheel well in the rear. You can see the Bilstein uh, shocks and the H&R springs here. And right on that uh, spring perch, you can see a little bit of rust on the corner there. Well, I'll put this light down. And if you come under, way down, we're gonna take a look at this big hole I found. It's kinda, can't really see it because when you're up top, it's just a little, little teeny thing, but that's kind of a structural part there. That's like the unibody uh, frame. So I'm gonna be taking the um, shock off so I can get the spring out and then kind of assess the situation here. All right, here we are under the car with the spring removed. I had to disconnect the sway bar end link. You want to do that with the uh, before you do the shock because there won't be any sort of like tension on it then. But it's okay. You can see the hole here. Maybe I'll show you my finger for scale since I don't have a banana. It's not as long as my finger, so maybe as long as my finger and inch wide. I'm going to be grinding at first and then probably get a uh, wire wheel on it and just clean everything even up to like here, up to here, all around. Just see where the damage is because there's always more than it looks like. Alright, this is the progress for the evening. I've cut um, this edge but I ran out of uh, cutting discs. I only had one that was almost dead, so. In the morning, I'm gonna go get another one. I'm gonna cut the other edge over here, make it nice, because there's still some rust right here, and I'm assuming up into there a bit. Um, I have a plan, because I think it's rusted up over this plate. I'm gonna cut a slit here, and a slit over there, and cut basically a square out of this plate and then the plate I'm going to weld over this whole hole will fit into that. So there'll be a little square cutout that fits over onto this nice thick spring perch. And then it'll come over, go over to this one and it'll be welded right on this like bend over here and then maybe just a square here and over. So Probably with like uh, 3 16th steel or some real thick steel like that where it's just kind of probably overkill but I mean there's a gaping hole in my car right now so I'm gonna go to bed though I'm out of stuff to use to cut this bad boy up. Alright just kidding I took the plasma torch out and I cut a bigger hole kind of got to look at uh, this side over here and there's a nice wall here, so the rust stopped kind of right after that little spot I cut off. So I'll be just cleaning that up a little bit and leaving that. This looks good on this side now. Um, I still will be getting those blades in the morning and cutting a square just out of the top layer because these is two layers to this spring perch and cutting that out so that the plate fits in there. And then on this other side over here, there's kind of some rust and it's on the back. So I'm going to be getting in there and grinding and maybe just get a wire brush. 
All right, it's a new day. I got uh, some stuff done here. I'm ready to start cutting up a plate to put on the hole in the frame. I got a cardboard piece here cut out. It's a rough template over the hole and uh, you just kind of cut a piece of cardboard and then translate that to a piece of metal. Let me show you that. Alright, so here's the chunk of metal. You can see it's the same shape as cardboard and I'm going to be using the plasma cutter. And then uh, simply maybe bending it a little bit in places and welding it in place. Alright, I just stepped out to have a latte, Miller latte, <laughs> stitch welding in the new plate, there's some large gaps to fill, that's actually going pretty well, I'm not a very good welder, but I'm letting it sit now and cool down, because I don't really don't want to punch through the thinner frame metal, I'm kind of stitching from the 3 16 down to that, hoping to maybe melt more of the 3 16 than the frame metal but I don't really know so uh, I'm just gonna finish my latte and get back to it this is the final product I can't even tell other than on the back side didn't fix the welds you can see a little bubbly bubbly back there but now the spring parts just kind of Flush, it flows into that, and there's just a little seam over, and I think it looks really good. It's all bed liner, some 3M bed liner, so it looks mint.